<laughs> What's up, boys? Back in the ready room, me and Cole talking about retention pouches and the elusive bungee. Overhand knots or square knots, how do you tie them and which one's the best one to go with? Kind of in user preference. Yeah, uh, I've seen people do different stuff. Um, square and um, girth hitch. Square knot for me, it secures it and doesn't have the knot on the bungee move around. So yeah. that's definitely a favorite of mine. What we're talking about is for girth hitch, we kind of just roll the whole thing over. Center down, you can slide this thing back and forth or the square knot, we learned so. it all. Right over left, left over right, or any opposite. And if you're terrible at tying knots, and you tie lots, this is what it'll look like. So you can push and adjust as well. Yeah, a few key points here, man. Just, just the way we do things. I'm kind of a stickler for melting means of these before I even get started. So like if I've got a little bit of a, a fray right there, I hit mine with a lighter just to start off. Just because it'll come apart as you're yeah, you still passing it through. through. I like a little Allen wrench, some kind of little key feature to, to slide through here, just to open it up, just however you guys want to, and we just we just feed it through. What about you there, Kimosabi? I mean, you can use flatheads, um, a smaller pair of needle nose, it's a little bit bigger. Um, don't Leatherman. use a don't use a, a knife. Cole's gonna be over here with with Leatherman tool stabbing himself. Not that we've done that a million times. <laughs> You're not putting gear together until you've cut yourself. But yeah, I mean, even something like this, that'll get it through. So a couple things that we had definitely messed up and hopefully save you guys from doing that is sizing the mag for the one you're going to carry, giving yourself a little bit of flexibility. So if you imagine I want this thing super tight and I stretch it at max capacity and then I bury it, when I actually go to remove this thing, it's going to be so tight it's not going to come off free. And then if we run a scenario like Cole used to run 20 round mags, now because this mag is shorter, it's not going to have the same bungee retention. Right? Yeah, so too much play, you're wearing out the bungee too. Yeah. And it's terrible actually to put in your gear. Yeah. So not, not much fun for a reholster of a mag. Yeah. So make sure you give yourself a little bit of modularity. Same thing with pistol. I mean, we'll get into that thing, but if you're constantly running 19 mags yeah. and you size them for something else. And people probably ask if there's a in between, I think there, there's the mag extenders and then there's kind of the factory. Um, mag, even if it's a 17, 19, 43, 365, yeah. any of that. And what I will say is, is the stock retention on these with no bungee over the top is great. I've never had a mag fall out of it. We've done cartwheels. We got nope. the real dynamic. So even if, even if I were to size it to a, what is called a, a full size you know, 320 mag, and I pull this out and I go with a Glock 17 and it's not completely snug, I don't have any fear of this thing falling out. You can make it find that adjustment, undo the square knot, pull it a little tight, recinch it, and now you've got it. And so even if it's it. a little loose, I mean, if this starts to slide out, usually that, that always catches. Yeah, for sure. It's not a big deal. Um, talk about one, putting the bungee through there. Um, you can try and get it through. Maybe if you're lucky, you will, but most likely you'll have some issues. So the Allen wrench is definitely a good one. Gives you enough kind of separation space to get it in there and push through. Comes out just like that. Also, you want to tie your bungee on the back, not the front. So find out where that middle of the bungee length is as well. So like that, so even ends. Then put it through, I mean, there's a, a million different pull tabs. I've actually not used a pull tab and used tape. Oh yeah, I used to use tape a lot. But putting one through one end, one through the other. You can kind of just slide this down so it doesn't fall off. Um, I'm a big fan too of putting one in one direction and one in the other. And I'll, I'll usually just tighten it off and then size it before I actually kind of pull it down. Yep. So use the square knot. So if I just wrap mine over and I just go overhand, it gives me enough play to where when it's in my belt, it still holds it secure, but you can see how much play I have in this still. Like to me, that's about perfect. If I can get two fingers in, it gives me enough play to where guys will have a little magazine extension, they'll have a little hook, Magpul made those little 
finger clips. It'll give you enough room to have that. But still, if you want to drop down, it's still tight enough to where it'll hold retention on like a 20 round mag. I tend to trim these things off. And if I compress this thing enough, I can slide this knot through this actual pass through. It cleans it up a little bit. Yeah. So I have this square knot tied. It's not super tight. Um, but basically before I, I pull it all down, I'll do a quick test fit. So everyone likes their bungee retention a little different, um, mm -hmm. but this feels pretty good. And while it's in, I can just kind of pull this down. So it's, it's set right here. So we did the overhand the way I did it. You can just tuck it through the backside. I typically, if I'm going to run this configuration, like for me, five, five, six is kind of the call. That's what we're going to be shooting for a long time. We take a piece of this hundred mile an hour tape. This stuff is really good. And we shred it right down the center. Pull this thing off, pull your pouch out, and then you can wrap up the excess and stow it. It'll just lock it in place so that way, sweaty, we're always in salt water. To me, like this thing turns into kind of a mess, but in a good way. It really, really locks it in. This adhesive turns into like a really thick, really thick glue, and that thing will never slip, dude. In, in my opinion, I've never had it really come off. But know that you sized it right, like Cole's talking about. Make sure it's exact where you want to, because if not, you're gonna sit here with your fingernails trying to peel this thing off in, you know, 10 minutes. But for me, I just wrap it up. That's a little more rigidity too. Yeah. I mean, one way to keep the ex excess, another way you can cut the excess either with a knife or a hot knife. Uh, so I pulled, pulled this tight, ounces equal pounds. So cut all the excess off like that. I take some tape because over time, the steam may come loose, taping both ends down, kind of like that. Yep. Then I'll hit it with a, a lighter. It just helps melt some of the glue and the tape and basically pull it like this. Yep. So Same kind of thing, just two different ways. But yeah, it's really just taking the time, make sure it's right for you, make sure you have enough retention. It's gonna come off free, whether you're one of those guys who pulls back to defeat the actual bungee retention, or you got that pulls, pulls forward, just make sure you have enough for it. Make sure it's kind of universal in your own little method. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, like, I've got pouches. We've been around since 2005 that still have the tape on. They have never come off. No. But yeah. And yeah. the tape makes some, some really good stuff too. I mean, plus and minus to both, but I want to go over these because it happens all the time with new gear fitting it correctly because we've tightened these incorrectly before and we've stabbed our, the shit out of our hands. Don't use this and try and get the bungee through because you either cut the fabric or yourself. Yeah, like dude, all these, all these are all scars from essentially that. <laughs> Stabbing yourself like, God, I knew it was about to happen. So don't do that. But here's what we were talking about, fellas. Like if you size this bungee for, you know, a, a 320 mag, I pull this bungee super tight. By the time I drop it over here, it's gonna be loose. It's not really gonna help. So you can split that thing and kind of have a hybrid where it's a little bit loose on this, it's snug on this and you can still make it. But understand like if I run to a 2011 and I gird this thing down and I can't, I can barely get it off, it's really gonna stretch up that bungee premature. So just pay attention to what you're putting on. I mean, even some of these other bigger mags, different heights. your point this bungee will fit way different than when this is in there as well but still good retention it's just not ideally as tight as you want it yeah just some optionality man that way you can swap through them free and clear that's what's nice about these pouches is we can go to the range we got to shoot you know glock 17s of one group and 10 minutes later we're shooting where we want to we're swapping the 320s and staccato and like we just swap out mags so, for the guys that have to run retention just set it up so it's kind of a universal platform. I can't tell you how many guys I know that they get issued a 320 but their favorite guns at Glock or mm -hmm. in the reverse. Like the guys came over yesterday, they're all running Glock 19s, but yeah. their personal guns they shoot are all 320s. It's like, it's like that's the thing they hated. They ran those Kydex mag pouches. He's like, I had to have two complete belt setups. Yeah. Because I couldn't swap them in and out. Have you ever done, like found that center point and actually taped? Uh-huh. So yeah. they don't move. Yeah, just to keep it in the same spot. Mm -hmm. So you ran them through opposite. Yeah? yeah. You want like that? Yep. And then just bring them to the bottom? You can do it the opposite way too. Personal preference. 
whether it's this way or mm -hmm. these are facing up. It's also, I mean, I taped up this knot. It gives it a clean look too. It's stuck in there, but keeps everything center. And we were just talking about it. Um, you can get as crazy with this as you want, but find this like middle point. Yeah. If you don't like this thing, have any chance of sliding around. Tape this side. Tape that side. So, we'll, we'll slide it around. It's nice and flush in that center. Yep, so you don't have to fish around for it because sometimes these things will slide down, down here. I'll give one more trick. So double bungee, just one little thing on single bungee, if you want. Tie that knot like, or a square knot, or lots of knots. You see, I'll take the excess though. Looks like that. Just tape it up. You can fit, fit your kit to yourself on what you prefer. It's not for everybody, but it's one of those things that you can clean up just with a single bungee instead of using the double, use a single right here. And you save some bungee for some other projects. Same fitting, grab a 43 mag. Basically tighten it, tighten it down and do the same thing. These ones. And some of the times we had back in the day they were single bungee retention. Yeah. But just some options for you. You can kind of like measure twice, cut once. So kind of get that first knot down. Check it again real quick that you have the, the tension that you want. If not, take it off just a little bit. Pull it tight. Cut some of the excess. Saved about eight inches of bungee. We'll just tape this up too. Hit both these with a the lighter. Not too long things catch on fire, but just enough so it melts the tape and holds that. Single budgie. So lots of options. Options, options. Fellas, it's, uh, it's bungee retentions. You know, I think more of it is just not rushing through your stuff, not not making a single side usage and having some custom uh, some customability to it. Having yeah. some optionality. Not cutting stuff too short, too long. Been there. Un understanding the kit and the gear and the retention. Yeah, constantly be redefining your own process. And, yeah, I mean, be creative with it. That's why, we're, that's why we're doing it, so you guys can make it whatever system you have, make it just a little bit better, a little more personal for you. So, yeah, man, have fun with it. Be creative and let don't us know what you guys are doing. <laughs> don't stab yourself. Lighter and scissors at a bare minimum. Yep. And an Allen wrench or something to help with pass through. Cool. Mm -hmm. Fellas, we appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy the pouches and let us know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks. We'll talk soon.